Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and this is another video of houseplants A to Z. If you're new here, in each video I talk about a plant or plant group that starts with each letter of the alphabet. Today's letter is F, and I'm going to talk about the philodendron Florida ghost. So this plant is my favorite philodendron, so I have a lot to talk about. The first bit of this video is going to be like a quick care guide and the second half is going to be talking about my experience propagating this plant and let me tell you now it is not pretty before i get into this video if you're not subscribed yet and you like my content please subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate it so this philodendron gets its name by having classic cream to minty leaves. The leaves can kind of vary to a solid green, which is this picture over here. More of a minty green, and I have one here. So I guess I would classify this leaf as being on the minty side. And ones that are almost completely cream or white. And all my luck is falling, hold on. <laughs> so this leaf over here is predominantly creamy white. So I guess I'll just show you a few of my Florida ghosts. So this is a little baby. It has an interesting half moon solid green and mint uh, leaf here. This was actually the first leaf that came out. I'll put a picture here. Um, it was so interesting when I first saw it. Then it pushed out this creamy leaf. You could kind of see that it's a little damaged and then now this minty leaf and then you could see a new leaf that looks pretty cream. I have a little propagation here. I don't remember when I propagated this but uh, she's she's growing. This one is predominantly white to minty and um, yeah this one yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, it's a new leaf coming. I forgot. I have so many. I just don't know which is which now. And then this one's quite interesting because it started off with a half moon. And you could kind of see that the creamy part has faded to a more minty green slash just solid green. Then it pushed out this leaf, which has a bit more of a white minty flavor and then it's pushing out a more cream leaf here because there's a lot in this video i'm just going to include just to the side here a kind of info card of where my florida ghosts live florida ghosts aren't too picky but i do have to say that they are more hardy and resilient if they do have if their leaves have more green to them. I got my first Florida ghost about a year ago to this day and you could see here that it had these large green leaves. Because I got this plant in the late fall early winter I was terrified and just threw it under a grow light and eventually this plant pushed out a more creamy minty leaf. Through the spring and summer, this plant pushed out a number of leaves and all of them were pretty white. And it made sense because this plant lived in a place where it had bright indirect light with maybe like an hour or two of direct sunlight. For those who haven't watched it yet, Kaylee Ellen posted a video explaining um, the relation between light and leaf color. The more light your plant has means you'll have whiter leaves. You know, at the time I got really excited because it was growing really quickly, especially transitioning from the winter months into summer. This plant started growing really fast. And because it was growing really rapidly, I thought I would propagate it, but that's when everything took a turn. Before I get into the propagation part, I do have to say something. If any of you guys are subscribed to Yoga and Plants with Rose. This experience is going to be strikingly similar to hers. And she actually posted a video like this a week ago. This video is by no means me trying to copy her content. 
I admire and love her content so much and I think it was just bad timing. I would urge anyone who hasn't yet to watch it and I'll put the link in the description below. I first propagated my plant this year in August. Today was supposed to be like a two and a half month update but they're kind of all dead now but we'll get into that in a bit. So I'll just insert clips from the initial chop back in August and then a two week update. Um, don't mind this, I <laughs> I did some insecticidal treatment and then put it in direct sunlight and the leaves kind of burnt. You could see a little bit on this leaf. But anyhow, um, yeah, I'm gonna chop this plant up and um, uh, we'll see. Okay guys, so um, I'm just gonna pick where I wanna chop the plant. As always, you need a clean pair of shears or scissors. I clean mine with alcohol and I'm just going to make a cut over here just below the node and aerial roots. I don't know if y'all can see that. So we're going at about here. Three, two, one. Oh, this is the cutting. I know it's a little scary because as you can see, uh, these leaves are predominantly creamy white and I know that uh, with plants, if there's no green, then there's no ability for the plant to make energy for themselves and essentially the leaves will burn and the plant will die. But I don't know, I think florigos are different and we'll see, like I really don't care. I have a couple more plants here and I'd rather just experiment and, and kind of know that way if, if it works or not. So with this cutting, I'm probably gonna chop it to, at two other places. So I'm probably, oh gosh. Okay, so I'm definitely going to make a chop here. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this one right here. Three, two, one. Okay. There's one, second one. And then I'm just gonna keep the top one as is. So what I usually do with my cuttings, I generally just put them in water. I've propagated in soil and sphagnum moss in the past and even LECA. Um, I still prefer propaga propagating in water. Okay, so again, here they are in a glass of water. Also guys, one last thing. Um, with the mother plant, I'm going to um, experiment with this um, crazy kiki cloning paste, um, originally marketed for orchids but there has been luck with aeroids such as philodendrons, monsteras, and theriums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this paste on a bud. I don't know if you would classify um, these spots as buds. They recommend oop, a pea size amount of this paste. I usually on certain plants, um, I would put it over here just above the aerial roots and oh gosh this is hard oh my god so let's just go like this and of course it's not in focus there we go and I'll just kind of spread it around covering the bud again I've never tried this before this is an experiment <laughs> So I think that's it. I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it is August 30th and today is the two week update of the Philodendron Florida ghost propagations. So I think I had a total of three. I don't think I lost any, um, but there isn't much happening, but I'll just show you what's happening, I guess. So the leaf of this propagation fell off. There's not really new roots. Um, you could see that's where the new growth is gonna come out. But so far, nothing for that one. The second one here, there is a little tiny bit of a new uh, root there. And then you could see on the other side that you could see uh, where the new plant will grow. So that's exciting. And then the top cutting here, 
Uh, it's not much. There's a little bit of a new root on this old aerial root here, but I don't think y'all can see it. Anyways, nothing much for this one. Um, but I do want to show, I know, um, I was experimenting with cake, kiki paste. I put the kiki paste on this top one where my finger is, and you could see there is a new growth point. If I rotate it a little bit, this one over here is also a new growth point. That's exciting. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're back in the present day. I didn't film after the two week mark because I got really sad. I'll put a picture here. At the one month mark, all the cuttings, first of all, dropped all the leaves. All the leaves, which were cream in color, they all turned brown and they withered away. And at this point, I was trying to propagate in Leca and Passive Hydro and they ended up rotting. Luckily, I still have the mother plant and I'll show you her now. So, ugh, there's just sirens. I don't know if y'all could hear it, hold on. Okay, so this is the mother plant. Um, so the first leaf... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. My light turned off. <sighs> okay, so this is the mother plant. Um, if you saw in the initial video, I had a growth point here. But then this was the growth point I put the cloning paste. And essentially that's where the plant or the new plant emerged from. And so this is the first leaf. And you could see that the newest leaf here is going to be the same color. And I'm just so thankful and happy that I still have the mother plant. Before I watched Ro's video, I did have a few guesses of why my cuttings or my propagations didn't succeed. So my initial guess was that the leaves were so white that they couldn't generate enough energy to sustain the cutting. I have also found in the past that these plants tend to take a little longer to root and acclimate. And lastly, I thought I damaged the leaves because I did have a thrip problem. I did spray this plant down with insecticidal soap and neem oil. And then I put it back in a place where it was really sunny. So I did subject it to a lot of additional stress that it didn't need. I still think to a degree all these things that I just said played a role in why these cuttings didn't succeed, but Rose explained it beautifully in this video. Again, please, please, please watch it if you haven't. She explained in the video that if you have really creamy or white leaves and your Florida ghost lives in a place where it's really sunny and really warm, they basically transpire a lot and they lose a lot of energy in the wrong places. Anyhow, all these things that I've learned, I will carry this into the future. I know it's really, really sad that I lost all those cuttings, but again, everything's a learning experience. I showed you guys, I have a bunch of Florida ghosts. The sun is getting really bright now. Anyhow, I'll probably try this again in the future, probably next season in the spring and summer. And of course, I'll share my results then. If you guys have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. If you guys have made it to the end, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.